Hey guys, welcome back. I am Chris. And I'm Randy. And you guys are watching Marksman TV. Welcome back to season two of Chris and Randy opening boxes. We do have a pretty cool collection that came in today, so we wanted to take the opportunity to film a quick video of us opening it for you guys' enjoyment. So if that sounds interesting to you, stick around. That's coming up now. All right, guys, this one comes to us from New York. So thank you so much for sending this one to us. Let's go ahead and... What we have here is a Remington rolling block number four. This is a rim fire on this small frame. It also appears that this one is a takedown model. Very nice. Single shot. So you're going to bring back the hammer, draw it back, kind of the rolling block action, pop in a single round, close it, and you can fire. Um, very cool youth models. Um, this one is, I believe, a 20, yeah, 22 short or long. Let's see, that should thread. Well, anyway, I won't mess with it. I'll figure it out later. But uh, that'll pop out, allowing these two halves to separate. This one's got an octagonal barrel with a V-notched rear sight and a front post. Very, very short length of pull, so definitely a youth-type rifle. Beautiful kind of old-style patina. We have one of these already. Uh, I think it's up on our website, but cool to get, kind of get at another. But anyway, what do you think about the condition of that one, Randy? And Chris, for what it is, I would rate the condition as fair. Yeah, that's actually what the customer said. So there's quite a lot of patina. Original case color hardening's gone, but the stocks seem to be free of cracks. There's a lot of patina on the barrel, which is octagonal, which is pretty cool. So fair, yeah, I'd probably say that that is a fair assessment of it. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, next up we have another one from the same seller in New York. This is yet another number four Remington in a Rimfire. I believe it's also in 22. Has the full length stock and is actually marked uh, military model. So something like this actually feels like it, it's still a little bit short, but would have a little bit of a longer length of pull. Uh, something like this would have been used for military training or something along those lines. Uh, looks like it probably needed a barrel band up here. I'm not too sure. I can look into that. It is a 4S model. Uh, what do you think about the condition of that one? I would call this fair condition, Chris. Yeah, there's a big kind of missing piece of wood. And there's little scratches and dings and dents and a lot of patina. Uh, I would agree with that assessment. What do you think? Uh, what does it say? Customer said fair. Yeah, and I think that's fine. Uh, the board is actually pretty nice, so. Seems to be mechanically sound, just a little bit beat up, but again, it's a it's a very old rifle, very loose kind of here. Uh, how is that even mounted in? Not too sure. No. Oh, right up here. Gotcha. But anyway, uh, very cool. So happy to get that in, and uh, we'll move on to the next one. All right, next up is yet another one from yeah, what dreams? <laughs> yet another one from the same seller in New York. This is a first pattern Luger, uh, specifically a Navy Luger. Yeah, so it is all 9-0. It appears to be, let's see, oh, the safety's there. It's, I believe, unmodified. So a lot of these would have been modified. I'm actually gonna do more a more detailed video on this one on a weekly used gun review because there's a lot of information on these. Uh, that is a unit mark in the back. Very, very cool DWM first pattern Navy Luger. Beautiful firearm. So yeah, finish on it appears to be original. It's got the strawed small parts, uh, which would have been the trigger, the safety lever, the takedown lever. A little trigger bar yeah very cool so what do you think about that one i would say surplus good to the very high uh, end of surplus good yeah and he says uh very good so it's close enough that we'll go with it but that is a beautiful luger very rare luger 
Um, so very cool to get stuff like this in. So we'll go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, up next we have another collection from Arkansas. And I know there's some really cool stuff in here. So let's go through them. And a Colt. It's a collection of Colts. Another Colt. I like the sound of that. <laughs> Alright, first up, we have a Colt King Cobra 357. Now, in 2020, Colt would start releasing a lot of the new snake guns. Actually, it was prior to that with the uh, standard Cobra and then the King Cobra. Um, this being the King Cobra is a 357, the standard Cobra is a 38 special. Uh, this has the nice target grips. Um, as I mentioned, 357. So this is not one of the classic ones. This is the, the newly introduced snake line gun. Uh, still just a wonderful action on the trigger. Still very elegant looking firearm. So that is very cool for this one. So a Colt King Cobra. And do you have the sheet there? If you know I do. The condition is? I would say the condition on this is excellent. And that is what the customer says, Chris. Okay, cool. Let's move on from there. Ah, this is one. It's pretty exciting. This is a Colt M45A1, 45 ACP, if you see the flat dark earth. Um, this is actually something that I am not too sure if Colt is manufacturing today. And this is, again, something I want to do in a weekly use gun review video, so I won't get too much into detail. But the Marine Corps had actually procured a run of this exact pistol, the M45A1, except it would have been marked USMC on the slide. Now, they would be retired and sent back to, to Colt, and I guess Colt would purchase them, and then resell them as retired US Marine Corps surplus, I guess, striking out the USMC, and uh, those are pretty cool. But Colt also made them for the civilian market, which is what this is. So a really interesting firearm that is a little tough to get at the moment, so very cool. Uh, what do you think about the condition of this one? I would say excellent, Chris. I would as well, and what did the customer say? The customer says excellent as well. All right, moving on to the next one. All right, next is another snake gun. This is an Anaconda. Now, as far as I'm aware, Colt has not reintroduced these for the consumer market, like as a new release in the 2019-2020 series of snake gun releases. Maybe they're going to, but the Anaconda was typically the 44 Magnum, 44 Special. I think they even had them in a 45 ACP. I actually had one of these on the weekly use gun review a couple weeks ago. Um, did I say 45 ACP? 45 Colt. Colt. Okay. okay, 45 Colt, not 45 ACP. Actually, the one we had was identical to this. It was made in 1994. I think I looked this up when the customer said that this one is made in 1995, but otherwise identical to the one we just had. So very, very cool. Being from the 90s, I would say very good. There's a couple handling marks on this. What do you think? I would say very good, Chris. Yep. Very cool. So and we'll go on with that. Customer, oh, what does the customer say? Very good. Cool. Right on. Right there in line. All right. And for this box, we have a Colt, you know, the elusive Colt <laughs> Python. Now, this is a also one of the 2020 release snake guns. Uh, 357, I believe this is the four inch barrel, looks like, pretty sure it is. Very nice, beautiful wood grip, stainless finish. Um, not much else to say about it. Everybody is familiar with the Python. Uh, these did have some early release issues with, um, I do believe it was light primer strikes. We had an early one as well. This one's well into production. So the one we had was like serial number 28 or something like that when we first did a video with them a couple years ago. But very, very cool. I don't know if those kinks have been worked out, but what do you think about the condition of that one? I would say excellent condition, Chris. I would agree. And what does the customer say? Customer says excellent. Cool. Well, we'll roll on with that and move on to the next box. All right. And in with our last box from the same seller. Where was it? Arkansas. Arkansas. Let's do it. One thing and one thing only. <laughs> is that it? That is it. Oh. All 
First up is a Glock 19X, uh, nine millimeter in the flat dark earth, uh, night sights. This was the handgun that they had from military trials, obviously, SIG-1 they did not. Um, but it essentially is the Glock 17 frame with the Glock 19 slide. Um, had came with one 17 round magazine and two bumped out 19 round magazines. Um, In the industry we call those happy sticks. Heavy sticks. <laughs> so this was uh, my very first Glock, the Glock 19X, um, and it still was my favorite Glock. Yeah, so. It's awesome. Awesome handgun. If you don't like the idea of the flat dark earth stuff and the, the night sights and all of that, just the base model, I guess you could call it the Glock Model 45 and the Gen 5 lineup. This is sort of its own thing, as Randy said, developed for the XM17 handgun trials, although it did not win. But it has found a good place here on the consumer market in the United States, and it actually is a really nice, with the, it does have the Generation 5 barrel, uh, which has the shortened chamber, the target crown, and the six groove in it, which is nice, really good, improved accuracy with that NDLC ion bond coating, which is I think one of the, the only colors that Glock actually does in-house on the slide. So pretty cool product. What do you think about the uh, condition on that? There's a few handling marks on it, Chris. I would say very good. Customer says excellent. Uh, if I could take a look. See that might just, yeah, there's a, this looks like it's been in a holster maybe once or twice. There's a little handling mark up here on the slide, but uh, that kind of rubs off. I mean, from arm's length distance, you can't even really hardly even see that. So excellent, I think it's fine. It's a very good to excellent condition. So nice like Glock 19X. Go ahead and dig into this guy. That is the Springfield Armory TRP. It's a TRP operator. Yeah, TRP operator, 10 millimeter. Uh, front slide serrations, so you can reach all the way out here and press check it. Uh, long side, I believe that this is probably a six inch barrel, if I'm not mistaken. Looks like it. Looks like a six inch barrel. It's actually pretty cool. I've got some Terminator uh, feeling going on with it, but you do have a skeletonized hammer, skeletonized trigger, adjustable target sights. As I mentioned, front slide serrations. It looks like we do have night sights on top, fully adjustable. Nice. I don't think that these are G10s. Maybe they are. Uh, I don't think that they are. They're highly, I should say, very nice aggressive stippling on there on the front and back strap as well. Very comfortable, of course it is very top heavy, but in a 10 millimeter, that is a really interesting package. So what do you think about that? I really don't see any marks on it, Chris. I would say excellent condition. I, I would agree, and that's what the customer said. So, very cool. And let's move on to our last one. Ooh, that is a small, handy little firearm. This is a Nighthawk. Now, I'm not 100% familiar with Nighthawk. I'd say they call this the, doesn't say, in CP. Wow, that's a nice trigger though. I'm gonna break the rules and just try fire at once. Wow, that's nice. Very short reset. Very nice, handy, lightweight handgun. This is, don't tell me on the form, I'm, I am assured. The Counselor. Features on this, I mean, again, I don't know too much about these. You got rear and front serrations, night side front, blacked out rear, skeletonized hammer, very, very flat face. Uh, trigger and then very nice aggressive stippling on the grip panels uh, Stippling on the front strap and the back strap. This is a nine millimeter very much an officer size Very good feeling comfortable with a nice trigger very very Smooth slide uh, But I mean you can tell it's a Nighthawk. These are custom-made 1911s is really what they're known for so Yeah, very awesome Trishicon sights. What do you think about the condition on that one? I would say excellent condition, Chris. I would totally agree with that. So uh, just a short video for you guys. Wanted to show you guys the stuff, uh, you know, kind of get out. We've been a little bit busy, so these videos have been slow, but we knew a lot, like a really cool collection was coming in today. So we wanted to kind of reserve that to show you guys on video today. So we hope you enjoy that. Well guys, thank you so much for stopping in and checking out this video. If you enjoyed, please let us know by hitting that like button. Please also consider subscribing to our channel and hit that bell notification button so you are aware when we are posting new content. With that, I'm going to leave you off there. I am Chris. And I am Randy. And we'll see you guys next time. Should have won the military trial, Chris. Should have won, but they won't, won't say that out loud. That's the way I see it, pal. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah.
yeah. I like the sound of that. The camp counselor. That's what you get, you know, to keep those kids in line. The micro lizard. <laughs> the micro lizard. <laughs> the micro lizard. So the micro lizard. <laughs> Can't get flatter than that. 